Hi, this is Ron once again. Um, I'm here with another board game for you guys. Uh, this one is an ancient Roman game called Ludus Latrin Colorum. Um, it's a Roman, uh, it's a Latin name, um, and sorry I don't know how to pronounce it 100% correctly. I'm sorry, it's got a couple other Roman names as well um, that are common, um, but it was known as the Game of the Brigands in Rome throughout the Roman U uh, Empire. I was played throughout out the Roman Empire as a predecessor to chess and uh, is played uh, very similarly to an atafel. Um, the obje objectives of the game are to capture either all the pawn pieces, which are these on the first row, or to capture the ducks, um, which is the king piece, um, which is um, which is in front. Um, so the um, the each piece um, moves the same way. Um, they move. Um, horizontally or vertically um, along um, the ranks and files. The, and then capture is very much like in the taffle, um, where um, you flank um, each side of the piece to capture it. So that would be one example of a capture, or you can do um, the capture vertically as well, um, like that. Um, the king or the ducks needs to be surrounded on all four sides to be captured, like so. Um, so um, that, that's how you capture, um, either flanking on two sides with the pawns or on all four sides for the king pieces, which are the ducks's. Um, the, um, so that, that's, that's the basic game. Um, there are several other variations of the game, um, most of them uh, vary the size of the board. This is an 8 by an 11 board. Um, uh, other common sizes are 8 by 12, uh, 12 by 12, 8 by 8, 7 by 7. Um, basically any any size board that you can do a grid with um, that the Romans used to play this game. Other variations included um, adding uh, an additional uh, rank of pawns um, or um, the let me check my notes here. Sorry, um, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, uh, adding additional ranks of pawns, so you can actually get up to five ranks with um, the bigger, the larger boards, such as twelve by twelve boards. Um, the another variation um, includes um, where if you are wanting to jump a piece, say. Um, say, say it was advantageous, um, this is an additional rule um, where you can jump um, jump a piece at the end of a um, end of your move more or less. Um, the jump actually does not capture the piece but unless it creates makes it so that way it's flanked. Um, it is flanked. Uh, it is more advantageous if, if there is a uh, if you have like a blockade or something like that um, that you can circumvent by jumping, um, but that that is an additional rule. It's not standard gameplay. So, but yeah, um, I hope that was a good introduction to Ludus Slash Colorum. Um, forgive my um, pronunciation. Um, if you want to find this game, I will include a link in the description down below. Um, it is uh, a fun game and. Uh, but was used to teach you know some basic tactics in Rome. Um, it's a it's a lot of fun. Um, so um, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below, and I'll try to answer them the best that I know how. Um, and uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you if you wish to do that. I I, I don't want to pressure anyone into doing this, but we are hoping to get some more how to play uh, some medieval. Uh, or ancient board games as well. Uh, so if you if you have any that you would like to see, uh, please uh, leave a comment down below requesting it. Um, and have a good day. Bye.